Hey guys, this is Shy Gamer Miley, and welcome back to Trauma Center Second Opinion. This is part 14. This is the very end. We have one more operation left, which is vulnerability. Last time, uh, we were at the Caduceus Europe conference, and the guilt research that they used for tissue regeneration for military veterans ended up being something that we had to pay the price for. The guilt went insane and we had a large outbreak among the uh, conference goers. So Derek and Naomi had to work together in order to uh, sort of combat the threat. So first we had Pemti and the future of guilt and then we went into the extremely difficult Fallen Heroes operation where we had to do four operations back to back to back and I had trouble with that one. I had it took me at least half an hour to solve it. Half an hour of just like repeatedly repressing the pressing the retry button over and over and over, but we got through it. And I consider the fact that we got through that operation even if it was with a C ranking to be something some some achievement. <laughs> so today, we're going to jump right into vulnerability. So here we go. Chapter 8, Vulnerability. He's in here. Stop him. Dr. Owen has been taken into military custody. We found him in the underground parking structure structure attempting to escape it wouldn't be in trauma center episode guys without me messing up my words you should have accepted death why were you trying to run owen unlike the rest of you fools i know the future of medicine will not be a happy one huh. who provided for me when i had nothing who made me a medical researcher it wasn't your government no the man who created me is sleeping in your prison. Then you're one of Delphi's. Struggle against fate as much as you like. With an army of seven billion, mankind will only defeat itself. Shut up, Owen. After what you did in there, you expect us to listen to this nonsense? Humanity will continue to thrive well into the future. We're making that possible. Strip him of his rank and take him away. Sir, there seems to have been an incident in the laboratory. The laboratory? Adam's chamber, sir. Oh no, Robert! Hang in there, Dr. Hoffman. Then they were actually taking the serum directly out of Adam's body? This guilt is going to be a pain. It can genetically mutate at the drop of a hat. At least, according to the data we've been given, it might be even worse. The professors, are they safe? Yes, thanks to Dr. Stiles and Dr. Kimishima. They're going to save you as well, Dr. Hoffman. So this is how you find out if you were a good surgeon. No matter how many lives you save, it's impossible to save your own. Don't strain yourself, Dr. Hoffman. Listen to me, Derek. These may be my last words. No doctor can operate on himself. I suppose that is our fatal flaw. It's a test when you're dying. <laughs> I have to depend on the ones I train. On you, Derek. It's the only way <clears throat> to know. Was I a good doctor? You're a good man, Dr. Hoffman, and an excellent surgeon. You passed on a lot more than your skills, like your passion and your kindness. Dr. Stiles should be all the proof you need. You're a great doctor. We can continue this conversation once you're recovering. Yes, we will. Then, let's get Dr. Hoffman to the operating room and begin administering anesthesia. Anesthesia, wow. Styles, Kimishima. I don't want you to take any risks. I'd like you both to operate on Dr. Hoffman together. Huh? I see. I'm sure you're exhausted. The healing touch may be the only hope that Dr. Hoffman has at this point. Of course, losing Dr. Hoffman isn't an option. I'll do whatever it takes. Let's work together, Dr. Kimishima. I won't let you down. 
Hoffman R. Chiral reaction positive, Savatope body is detected. Its mobility will require a coordinated effort between two surgeons. The test came back positive for Savato. However, there is a high probability that this is a mutation of the strain. The points to focus on will be use the scalpel to destroy Savato's nest, neutralize its defensive layer with the laser. Once the Savato is vulnerable, attack it with the scalpel. Let's hope it's that simple. The Savato may travel to other areas during the procedure. In order to counteract this, you'll both need to be involved in the surgery. If you work together, I think we can save Director Hoffman. Understood. I see. Having two healing touches should even out the odds. If you're both ready, we shouldn't ra waste any more time. Dr. Hoffman won't die on my watch. We need to at least save Derek's because Savato, you always have to do the final blow with a slowdown of time. So, let's get vitals up. Clean that up. And, wow. Okay. We've located the guild. Okay. Let's... Let's get this guy. Ninja. Okay, let's get these guys out of the way a little bit. So they don't fuse together. Alright, there's one. Don't mind if I do. Now we're gonna switch up again. Again. Can't allow these guys to fuse together. Yours. Got him. Leave it to me. That's gracious. All right. Cut. Get some of these guys out of the way so that we don't take a dip in vitals. Get a cut in there. Another cut in. All right.
Ugh, the laser is so limited. Okay. Let's go again. Now's your chance. I am a bit up, up a bit. It's headed your way. Got him. Leave it to me. All right. Let's go back to Nomi. Running back and forth. I have visual. Keep getting him. Alright. Let him die. All right. <laughs> and that was it. We got it. Reaction is negative. Four minutes to spare, too. Get vitals up. Sew them up. Some antibiotic gel on. And we're done. Nice work, Dr. Styles. Let's see what our final score is. Not bad. <laughs> Epilogue. All right, let's go straight into it. Yes. Epilogue. The plane is ready, Director. I see. Dr. Styles, Nurse Thompson, your flight home has arrived. You didn't have to organize all of this for us. On the contrary, I wish I could do more for the heroes who saved us all. I know a lot has happened, but I do hope you'll forgive our insolence. You should apologize to the people you treated with Adam's selves. That's very true. We've received orders from Parliament to cease all guilt research immediately. Caduceus Europe is under investigation and only operating on a provisional basis. We will probably be tried for our actions. Guilt was designed for the sole purpose of wiping out mankind. You should have realized it couldn't be used for anything else. Doctors learn from their mistakes, and we're no different. I won't let this happen again. You have a lot of skilled people to help you, sir. Good luck, Dr. Kimishima. Same to you. 
America's in good hands. Thanks. Hey, you should come visit us sometime. I can't go back. I've left America behind me. I bargain for amnesty in Europe, but I doubt your country is so willing to forgive. Take good care of him, Angie. Huh? Oh, of course. My stay here was an emotional one, but I learned a lot from you, Doctor. Seeing you and Dr. Stiles working together inspired me to be a better assistant. Thanks. Now that we've said our goodbyes, allow me to accompany you both to the airstrip. With tragedy in Europe narrowly averted, Caduceus International proposed a new treaty to govern all further guilt research. The treaty was ratified by most world governments immediately, requiring that any guilt-related studies be approved and disclosed to avoid further outbreaks. In addition, participating countries would be granted a Caduceus-appointed medical director who, would act, who could act without executive approval. These directors became guardians of national health, moving toward a brighter future and ever vigilant against new threats. Thus, mankind banded together to share knowledge and resources in a war against guilt and medical terrorism. Now they're stuck in northern Afghanistan? Man, I feel sorry for Derek. Are there any countries we haven't sent him to yet? I hope Angie isn't too homesick. Then again, she gets to see all those neat places and eat exotic foods. Angie will be fine. I'd say Derek is the one you need to worry about. At least he has Dr. Chase here to take care of his workload while he's away. Ha! <laughs> Don't dump that on me. But seriously, those two deserve a nice, long vacation. All this work hasn't left them much time to spend with each other. What do you mean? They're working together all the time. Oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. Director Hoffman. The educational division wanted to have a word with you about next month's training course. Something about the curriculum, I believe? Did you need me to handle that? Ah, thanks for letting me know. I should be able to take care of it myself. They invited a neurosurgeon from Germany to lecture for a week or two. I just need to modify the course structure accordingly. I see. This is the first educational seminar Caduceus has offered, so there's a lot to worry about. But if we're going to provide medical care to the entire world, it's an important step to take. People are going to depend on our doctors. We owe them the best training available. I understand. Let me know if there's anything I can do. Thank you. Speaking of which, I need you to mail this for me, direct addressed to one Dr. Derek Stiles. What's in the package? Letters of gratitude we've received from his patients all over the world. Stiles deserves to know he's making a difference, don't you think? I decided I would send him some reading material for the plane ride home. <laughs> and there we go. I can't remember if there's anything after the credits, but guys, that was Trauma Center Second Opinion. So, uh, after this game, uh, chronologically, there is another game called Trauma Center Under the Knife. Two, which is a sequel to the original game which Second Opinion is based on called Trauma Center Under the Knife and it sort of furthers the guilt plot although there's a new type of disease which uh, surfaces and in the series there are two other games there's Trauma Center New Blood and then there's Trauma Team which uh, was the last game that came out on Wii and since then there haven't really been any entries into the Trauma Center series, which is a huge bummer because it's one of my favorite series. So I'm hoping that Atlas will bring it back someday, but they're busy with Persona stuff, so the end.
Yes. <laughs> so, after you clear the game, it opens additional surgeries called the X surgeries, which are like super. Yeah, see? These are like super difficult, extreme operations. It's the equivalent of Persona 5's merciless difficulty. So this is like lunatic crazy mode difficulty. And I was never able to make it on uh, uh, over the Kiriaki in the original game in Under the Knife. And I was pretty good at Under the Knife. So that that just gives you an idea of exactly how hard this game is. So, we have finished our playthrough of Trauma Center Second Opinion, and that was a crazy ride. It was so fun replaying this game again after so many years. I am glad that I chose it to be my first official Let's Play, and now we are going to move on to something else. If you have any suggestions for games, then leave them down below, but I already have a couple ideas. I'll look through them, and we will decide very soon. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Let's Play of Trauma Center Second Opinion, and we will probably return to the Trauma Center series sometime in the future, but not immediately, because... <laughs> I can't imagine doing any more operations right now, especially after the crazy uh, marathon that was Fallen Heroes, but we will be back someday. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you were as entertained watching this as because I just had a blast playing it. So if you have any comments, leave them down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, if you want to know what's coming up on the channel next, you can subscribe. No pressure, though. I do uh, games like this, Trauma Center. I do JRPGs like Final Fantasy and Persona. And, you know, sometimes you'll see me uh, kind of deviate from those games. I have a very eccentric taste in uh, games. So, fun things coming up on this channel. If you want to join in on the fun, then subscribe. <laughs> anyway, this is Shige Ramiley signing out guys. Have a great day and take care.